statistics is derived from the Latin word status, which means a political state. So in this bar diagram, we have the simple bars, multiple bars, percentage subdivided bar diagram, two dimensional diagrams and the pi diagram. In this correlation and regression, we will be studying about the meaning and the different types of correlation and regression problems based on these two concepts. My dear students, I am Purnima, faculty in the Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. In this session, we will be having a discussion on the syllabus which has been prescribed by the Mysore University, the NEP syllabus for third SEM BBA students. The subject is Statistics for Business Decisions. So, in this session, we will be having a discussion of the syllabus, an introduction to the syllabus, and also the learning outcomes. So let us see what the session holds for us. So here in this session, we will be having a look at the syllabus. What is the actual syllabus which has been prescribed for the third SEM BBA? Then what is the learning outcome? Then we will be having a discussion about each unit. In each unit, what are the various topics you will be studying? Then the internal exams, how the internal exams will be held? What is the portion for the internal exam? And lastly, the exam pattern. So what will be the uh, pattern of the exam question paper? So all this we will be studying in this or we will be discussing in this session. Now let us go into the syllabus. Now in this syllabus unit 1 we have an introduction to statistics. Now what is statistics? Statistics is derived from the Latin word status which means a political state. So statistics mainly was undertaken or it was a statistical tool with the help of statistics the state used to run the business, run the administration. They used to keep account of the birth and death and also the uh, various other things which the state used to offer to the citizens. So statistics mainly it is a tool for the administration of the uh, any country as such. So in this introduction to statistics, in the first chapter, we will be learning about what is statistics, functions, limitations, and also how do we collect the data for statistics, and then what is the tabulation, diagrammatic presentation, etc. Then in the measures of central tendency and dispersion, we will be having a look at the mean, median, and mode. Then correlation and regression analysis. In unit 3, we will be having a discussion on correlation and regression analysis. Then time series analysis and finally the index numbers. So when I have a discussion of the units, I will be telling you in detail what the all these units are all about. Now in this unit 1, introduction to statistics, so we have the meaning functions and uses of statistics. Now what do we mean by statistics? Statistics is an aggregate of facts expressed in numerical terms. So it should be pressed, it which can be presented in a diagrammatic presentation. So all these are a definition of stats and then in the stats mainly when since we deal with the aggregate of facts it involves collection of data. So one single number cannot make statistics. So statistics always relates to collection of number of data from various sources. Then techniques of data collection. So what are the various techniques through which we will collect the data that is the census technique and the sampling techniques. Then also classification. How do you classify the data? The meaning and methods of classification of data. So how do you classify the data and what are the various methods of classification? Whether it is classification on the basis of the geographical area or on the chronological basis or on a qualitative, quantitative, so there are various methods of classification. Then tabulation, so how do you tabulate the given data, the parts of a table, simple problems on tabulation, then diagrammatic presentation. So in this diagrammatic presentation, so whatever information you have to just tell the people so that with the help of a bar or a diagram, you will be able to express it better. So bar diagrams, so in this bar diagrams, we have the simple bars, multiple bars, 
percentage subdivided bar diagrams, two dimensional diagrams and the pie diagram. So all these are various representation of the data collected under the statistics. Now, this is unit 1. Now under unit 2, we will be having a discussion on the measures of central tendency. So in this unit, we will be studying about calculation of arithmetic mean, median and mode. So what do you mean by mean, median and mode and also the individual discrete and continuous series. So what are the individual numbers, what are continuous numbers, what are discrete series, this we will be knowing and also problems on that and empirical relationship between mean, median and mode. So this comprises the second unit. In addition to that, we have measures of dispersion. So here we will be having a discussion on what is the range. So what is the highest score, what is the lowest score and what about all other scores which come between this, we call it as the range. Then we have the quartile deviation that is the Q1, Q2 and Q3 scores. Then standard deviation, individual discrete and continuous series. Now in the measures of skewness, we will be having a calculation of Carl Pearson's unimodal and Bowley's coefficient of skewness. So this comprises unit 2. Under unit 3 again we have the correlation and regression analysis. So what is the meaning of correlation, different types of correlation, calculation of Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. So what is Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation? Computation of probable error, Spearman's rank coefficient of correlation problems, regression analysis and regression equations and problems. So in this correlation and regression, we will be studying about the meaning and the different types of correlation and regression problems based on these two concepts. Then in unit 4, it comprises of the time series analysis. Now what is this time series analysis? So if you have a collection of the past 10 years of the profits of the company, then you it will be with the help of this data, you will be able to predict what will be the profit for the next 2 or 3 years. So that is what is the uh, meaning of the time series analysis. So uh, meaning components fitting a straight line trend using the least square method. So the least square with the help of the least square method we will be able to find out what will be the future forecasting of the company, what will be the profits for the coming year and calculation and estimation of trend values. So what are the trend values and what will be the future trend value that also we uh, predict very very accurately. Then lastly in the unit 5 we have index numbers. So in this index numbers the construction of index numbers, methods of index numbers, simple aggregate method, weighted method. So under the cal calculation of the weighted average uh, in index numbers, so we have two types that is the simple aggregate method and second one is the weighted average method. So in the uh, weighted average method, we have the last year's Pasteur's Marshall Edgeworth and Fisher's ideal index number. So these are all statisticians who have worked out various kinds of index numbers and based on this we will be having problems. Then test of adequacy unit test and then lastly we have the consumer price index number. Then next let us look into the marks for the internals. So in this internals it is it will be usually for 30 marks and for the unit 1 and unit 2 it will be there for the first internals. So the second internals it comprises of unit 3 and unit 4 and the third internals we have only one chapter that is unit 5. Then the final marks will be awarded on the average of the three internals. So whatever is the internal marks which the student will be scoring, it will be based on the average of the three internals. Then next let us have a discussion on the question paper pattern. So in this question paper pattern, we have part A which uh, comprises of six questions of two marks. Out of that the students has to answer any five of them. So in part B, again we have four questions out of 10 marks each and the student has to answer only two questions of 10 marks each. And in part C again, 
he will have two questions of 10 marks, 15 marks. Out of uh, that, he will have to answer two questions. That is, out of four questions, he will have to answer two questions. The total for the uh, uh, exam is 60 marks. Then, next, let's look into the books for a reference. So, in this, the statistical methods. So, this is by S.P. Gupta. So, this is the most recommended book for the uh, semester. Then we have statistics by Dr. B. N. Gupta, business statistics by S. P. Gupta, quantitative analysis for business. So these four are the recommended books for reference. Now with this we come to the end of this session. Hope you have all followed. Thank you.